be happy in there. Amen. Glory to God. How many know it's a choice? It's a choice. Amen. You happy by choice? You upset by choice? You sad by choice? You worried by choice? It's all choice driven. Amen. It is so. It's not the situation. It's how you process it. Y'all may not want to go with me, but it's the truth anyway. Amen. Amen. The song says, Here's the day the Lord hath made. All right. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. He makes a declaration that I don't care what happens today, I'm still going to rejoice and be glad. Hello, somebody. Y'all, you know, sometimes you can't do nothing about what happens around you. Sometimes it just happens and it's out of your control. You do anything about it. But you can do something about how you're going to respond to it. That's right. That's right. Hello, somebody. Amen. It is so. Yes. So I want to encourage you, choose to be happy. Yes, yes. Choose to go ahead and praise God. You say, but I lost my job. Okay, but I don't have to get down and in the gutter. I can look up because I know where my help comes from. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Mm. Amen. It was God that gave me the job to begin with. If he gave me that one, he give me another one, and one even better. Hello? It is so. So you choose how you are going to process in life. And I made my mind up. Listen, God deserves my best praise. Amen. Hello? How, how many know that God really don't like complaining? Come on. Amen. Yes, now, yes, yes, that's the word. That, oh, I'm yes. I'm just going to slip this in before we oh, go yes. any further in the service. God does not like complaining. Come on, Bishop. That's right. And it doesn't matter who name's attached to it. It's the word. Hello, somebody. Come on. And I know sometimes we feel justified in a complaint. We feel like, you know, we got reason. But the reality is you don't have a reason. Amen. You have an excuse, but you don't have a reason. All right now. And excuses only serve the people who make them. Amen. People who make them think they good. My God. Everybody else felt like you could have kept it. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. Amen. Well, I mean, we just, you know, these things are so. Uh, uh, because, because when it comes down to it, God doesn't, I have a saying when it comes to complaining. My saying is this. God don't deserve it. You don't have a right, because if he didn't do for us Say what he did, we surely could not do it for us. Hallelujah, ourselves. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello. Hallelujah. That's like, here's somebody, and I just heard the story not too long ago, folk, they was in the car, and, and we're about to do the communion, but folk were in the car riding together, and, and some of the folk, you know, only one person driving. That's right. Some of the riders talking about, when we going to get there? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> If it seems like you're going too slow, yeah, how about? I'll meet you when I get there. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hello. That's it. God really doesn't deserve our complaining, amen? amen? But he does deserve our praise. He does, he does, he does. Amen. Yes, Ooh, yes, yes, just yes. tell him thank you. Hey, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. My sleep and slumber this morning. Yeah. You're glad you were able to get up. They went to bed last night. And this morning they couldn't get up. They couldn't move. Say that, Bishop. You know, there's somebody this morning that was in a coma. They never did. Come on. There's some others that slept away in the night. Hey, man, they won't wake up. muster up enough confidence in the faithfulness of God as to give him praise even in the midst of our storm. I promise God will take care of your storm. Amen. No more will take you. God will take care of your storm. It is so. It is so. And I just want to encourage you uh, not only today but every day let's be in the spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, so we got some things we got to do. We got to 
get busy here. This is such an a, a, a awesome experience that God affords us. And he tells us that we're to do this as often as we do it in remembrance of him. Um, the communion, the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper, these are interchangeable terms that it's known by. And the purpose of it is to commemorate or to memorialize or to honor what the Lord Jesus did prior to his crucifixion. Uh -huh. What he did for us. The Bible says that the Lord Jesus, he supped with his disciples. They uh -huh. ate together. And I don't know about you, but what I find in the land is that many times when folk ain't getting along, they don't eat together well. All right. <laughs> right? They be hungry as all get out. <laughs> but once they get upset, that's right, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I get something like you go ahead on. I mean, husband and wife do that. Amen. Friends do that. Amen. Sisters and brothers do that. All right now. Yes. It is so. <laughs> Amen. And and so when we when we have communion, it's symbolic of us in fellowship with Christ and one another. Yeah, yeah. Does it make sense to you? Amen. Part of the assignment that's on my life is to feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's the counsel of scripture there in Jeremiah 3.15. God speaking said, I will give you pastors after my heart that would feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah, yeah. I believe we should not only do things in church, but we should also know why we're doing what Amen, we're doing. amen, right? amen. So I take the time to explain it because God wants us to be in the know. He said, I'll not have you ignorant. Yes. Right. And we ought to know what we're doing but also what we're doing. Yes. Amen. Yes. So at this time, we're going to prepare to partake together. Now, everyone who has accepted Christ into their lives as Savior, you are invited to participate with us. So whether you're a member here or elsewhere, really doesn't matter because you can participate without affiliation with our church or any other denomination. You've accepted Christ into your life. This is what the family of God does. And so um, at this time, we're going to uh, release the deacons to serve you. Those who will be partaking, we're going to ask you to, to uh, stand now. Amen. Deacons. Amen. Where's the clergy? Hallelujah to the King. Amen. This is a solemn time. We do not take it lightly. The Father gave greatly that we're able to have this time. The Bible says he gave his only begotten Son. If that's not enough, the Lord Jesus gave greatly, for he laid down his life that you and I might be brought into the family of God in a most intimate way through the redeeming blood of Jesus Christ. And so uh, I just want to encourage you in your walk with the Lord in this time of fellowship. Some of our young folk are coming from the other side. We'll just wait until everyone is served. And you can peel back the film to expose the bread you can peel back the foil to expose the drink. We ask that everyone holds the bread and the drink until all have been served and we will partake together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the King. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us enough, Lord God, that you would give us your son. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us enough yes, that you would give your own life. Yes, Lord. Glory. 
glory, 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 glory. I want to remind you today, those that know Christ, you're in a preferred place. You're in a preferred place. You may not have it all worked out, but I thank God that the blood is power. Hallelujah to the King. Bible said they went out singing him. I know it was the blood. Well, I know it was the blood. Hallelujah. You know, that's a phraseology you might hear when people talk about washing clothes. 
and sometimes clothes get a stain in them. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Amen. Amen. And uh, stains can mess your clothes up. They don't look the same when they get a stain. Come on. Especially in the front. Sometimes if you couldn't see it, you might be all right. But not only can you see it, everybody else sees it. And uh, we try to get all kinds of stuff to get the stain out, right? Amen. And, and so it is sometimes folks do all kinds of things to get in right alignment with God. So they do good works and they try to help people and they'll give to the needy and all of that. But that can't really wash away the sin. No, 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 no. It's nothing but the blood of Jesus. So but I'm a good person. I understand that. And you should be a good person. But that doesn't get rid of sin. Only the blood. Amen. Somebody say only the blood. Only, only the blood. blood. Only the blood. It's important for us to, to know and understand these things. Well, we appreciate the Lord for each and every one of you in your respective place. Thank God for our uh, Lady Singleton. Come on, let's pray to God. For family, thank God uh, for our praise team, our ministers, our musicians, our ushers, our guests, our members, and friends. God bless you. Amen. Come on and give God praise for one another. You know, before I get into the message on today, I do want to encourage you to just move in some random act of kindness. Random act of kindness. Um, I don't. I don't want you to tell me that it's you, Lady Um I don't want you to tell me that it's you. Even if it's you, I don't want you to tell me. But but. Some of us, and I'd like to think you were maybe with the person, but it wasn't you. But if it was you, you know, the Lord knows. <laughs> Amen. Um, Y'all ever been out to eat with some other folk who was really complaining a lot? Mm. <laughs> they were the waiters and waitresses over. <laughs> They made them earn all their money for the week in one serving, just serving them. Come on, Bishop. Hello, somebody. Yeah, Y'all been out with any of them? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, I just hope you wasn't the one that worked mm. like that. Mm -mm. Jesus. I find that folk complain easy. They find it easy to complain. Yeah. And difficult to compliment. All right, now. I don't believe that's the will of God. I believe we should be more willing to give a compliment than to offer up a compliment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hello, somebody. Anointed, powerful word. Thank we you. ought to be able to leave a blessing in our you. wake. Thank you. In other words, when we leave a place, that ought to be a blessing where Thank we just you. work. Thank you. Somebody ought to be glad we were there rather than wishing mm. you never came there. Now, I don't know how you feel about it. You might feel justified having to bring the food back. No, this, I don't like this. This overcooked, this undercooked. This is too small. Why are you giving a little piece? I had a big piece last time. Oh, y'all get on my nerve around here. <laughs> and then talk, you got the nerve to get up and give them nothing, and you don't work them harder than everybody else. Amen. Come on, I ain't giving them nothing. <laughs> they done brought you four dishes. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Real. We ought to leave a blessing in our wake. Amen. The counsel of scripture is God speaking concerning Abraham and his descendants. He says, I will bless you and you shall be a blessing. Amen. We ought to, when we leave, folk ought to want us to come back. Amen. Hallelujah. They ought to want to see us again. So, so you, I know, I hear you, I hear you. But what if they don't cook it right? Because <laughs> sometimes it really don't be right. You know, you're dealing with humans, right? Amen. And uh, sometimes we, we miss it. Not that we're trying, but sometimes we miss it. And uh, if it's not right, there's a way to approach a person. Yes. With kindness. The Bible says that we ought to do all things with grace. Yes. 
Yes. Amen. 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 The righteous tongue shouldn't cut folk up. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I may know there's some, there's some folk that be mixed in with the righteous. <laughs> they got some sharp swords. <laughs> Amen. So I, I want to encourage you in random acts of kindness. It won't hurt you not. Let me tell you, according to the counsel of Scripture, it will come back to you. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. I said it will come back to you. Amen. Because what you make happen for others, God yes, will make happen yes, for you. Yes, 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 yes. If, if you can make somebody else's day a little sweeter, if you can bring a smile to somebody else's day, God will cause somebody to bring a smile to your face. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God hallelujah. God will cause somebody to sweeten your deal. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The counsel of scripture is with what measure you meet. It shall be measured to you again. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes we don't realize, we forget even, that whatever measure we get, we have already set the measure. Amen. Jesus, hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. what you sow is what you grow. Mm -hmm. You know, on, on, on yesterday, the wife and I, we, were, we went to get a bite in. And uh, I seen someone that I hadn't seen in quite a while, but I did recognize him and went over to the table and spoke to him. How you doing? You know, greeted the family mm -hmm. there and I sat down. And my wife was wondering if they remembered me. I told them, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm kind of memorable sometimes. <laughs> in any event, while we're sitting there, the lady came over and gave us coupons. All right. Where you could buy one and get one free. Uh -huh. One was eight dollars off. All right. And all that kind of just gave them to a three three coupons. Now had I not when it showed some kindness, I can almost guarantee you we never would have seen those coupons. All right, all right, all right. That kindness turned into money. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, come on, Bishop. Right. Say that. Are you hearing me? Say that. God will bless us. Yes, he does. And all we need to do is just honor him and realize that everybody, I don't care where you find them, I don't care how they look, how they talk, how they walk, how they smell, they're all made in the image yes. and similar to the God. Yes. Everybody. Amen. Drunk as a skunk, eating out of the garbage. Yeah, they're still made in yes. a similar to your God. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Yes. Amen, amen. So I just want to encourage you in some random acts of kindness, just go do something for somebody because it's just in your heart to do it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, I, I, I told y'all, and I, I do this kind of regular. Sometimes I'm in the store and, I don't know, Holy Spirit just stir me up, say, pay for their stuff. All right. So I just go pay for their stuff. All right. I don't know these people. But I don't have to. Bible tells me that what I've done to the least of these, you've done it unto me. Amen. Hello? Amen. And, and I get the same thing. Folks just, sometimes I get up and go to pay. It says, it's already paid. What? I'm looking for that to happen on bigger scales too. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Yes, it's good. I'm just expecting it to get better still. All right. Well, we're going to go into the word on today. Um, we uh, started in on last week in this series entitled Personal Purposeful Prayer Produces. Okay, okay. How are we doing on that sound back there? My sound's changing. Sound's changing. Amen, amen. All right. All right. Is that good? Is that a little bit too much bottom? I'll talk back to you now. All right. <laughs> Personal, purposeful prayer produces. And we launched Prayer 320 on Thursday night. Yes. Now, Amen. Prayer 320, for those of you who aren't aware, let me share that with you now, and then we're going to share with you. Hey. All right. I'm getting my sound right. Hallelujah. Get my sound right and leave it there. Amen. 
Bibles, you might want to look at Ephesians 3.20. And uh, the scripture speaks to us there. And then the King James Version is recorded on this one. Uh -huh. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So tells us that God's able to do much more than we can even imagine. Amen. And it's according to the power that's at work in us. What yes. power is that? I believe it's the power of our faith yes. to believe. Whatever yes. we can believe yes. for, God yes. can even do more than that. And then in Job 42.10, Job 42.10, again from the King James Version, it is recorded on this wise. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Uh -huh. So we find that Job, when he prayed for his friends, and most of us have some Bible knowledge, that there was a man called Job, and Job was a wealthy man, but he was also a righteous man. Uh -huh. And Job had suffered terribly. Job had been through things I don't believe the rest of us want to go through at all. Amen. Amen. Well, his situation stayed like that until he prayed for somebody else that wasn't even as bad off as he is. All right, now. Hmm. Well, there's a principle here. There's a principle here. In any event, in this prayer campaign 320, every member, say he's talking to you right now. He's talking to you right now. I said, every hey, member said, yeah, he's talking, talking to you too. Right? Look to your neighbor tell he's talking to you too. <laughs> every member, non-member, yes, friend, whatever, you are asked to identify three friends that you will pray for for 20 days. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right? Three friends that you will pray for for 20 days. Now the areas that you are to pray for them in is five areas, and each area starts with a W. And I'll tell you what those are. In fact, I have a prayer agenda, yes. a scriptural focus before me. If you don't have one and you desire one, just lift your hand now. The usher will attend yes. to your need. That way you'll be able to follow along with me as I go. The Word of God teaches us that we're to pray one for another. Amen. And in our praying, we're to pray in faith. Mm -hmm. We're to pray believing God. We're to pray expecting. We're to pray looking up. We're to pray believing. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. And as we pray, we find that, that God's able to cause things to happen. Amen. Amen. Now, now, <clears throat> I want to encourage you today. You just give some to the aisle and let them pass it down, so we could, so we could, uh, or maybe somebody can give a little assistance there, so we could move along. Everybody can get it quickly. Amen. Prayer three twenty. Now I can tell you right now, your biggest challenge in this is going to be the fact that this is not a habit for you. Okay. All right. Because I already know many folk heart it's going to be in because you're going to want to pray for folk. You're going to want to pray for folk for their benefit, but that's not the only reason you're going to want to pray for them. Exactly. Everybody have one? Y'all with me? Yeah. Okay. So your biggest challenge is going to be 
being faithful to pray every day for 20 okay. days for Amen. the three people you identify. Amen. And so I'm giving you a little tip right now to use that will help you be consistent. Here's your tip. The Holy Spirit is going to bring to your mind to pray for him. Yes. I can tell you beforehand, sometimes when he speaks, it won't seem to be the convenient time to pray. All right. right. All right. You'll be perhaps getting ready for work or going somewhere, about to do something, or maybe you're laying there still resting, and the Holy Spirit says you should pray. And somebody says, well, you know, I'll do that when I get up. I'm going to pray. Because you want to do it. Or when, when, I, when I get in the car, I'm going to pray. Or whatever your timeline, your shift of the assignment is. I just want to encourage you, hearken to the Holy Spirit, because if you don't, you will probably miss praying that day. All right. Even if he reminds you multiple times. Okay. Many times it's going to seem like it's not quite the right time. Uh-huh. You don't want to miss. Because this year bless you. Amen. All right. Are you ready? You have the five areas. The first area is wisdom. Pray for divine wisdom and insight over your friends and yes. to your friend's life. The yes. scripture says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him in James 1, 5. Amen. The second thing to pray about is watchfulness. Bible lets us know these things. So in watchfulness is pray for strength to resist temptation. Most folk get out of line because they yield to temptation. Come on. Right? Amen. Scripture says, Matthew 26, 41, pray or watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we're to pray for them, our friends, that they be watchful so they don't enter into temptation. Because all of us want to do something better in honoring God. All of us got Amen. an area of weakness or we're a little slow on it. Maybe our temper go off a little too quick. We speak a little too quick. Whatever it is. But we don't want to get caught up in temptation. Amen? Amen. So let's pray for somebody else that they don't get caught up. Number three is wealth. Pray for the manifestation of surplus provisions. Yes. Pray that God will bless folk yes. with the overflow. How many can yes, use the yes, overflow yes, in your yes. life? In provision. Amen. Amen. Some of the more than enough. Scripture says there in 3 John 2, in the Amplified Version, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well even as I know your soul keeps well and prospers. The King James Version says, the love I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Yes. And then there in Deuteronomy 8.18, Scripture says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, yes. that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. So, Bible tells us God wants us to have wealth. Yes. If He didn't want us to have wealth, He wouldn't have given us the ability to get. Amen. Right, Some of right. us don't believe we had that ability, and it seemed to be elusive to us. Wealth. Huh. Hello, somebody. Come on, God. Amen. Right. But God already said He gave us the ability. Yes. Right. So we want to pray for others for them to walk in. Amen. But what we make happen for others. God's going to make it happen, happen for, for us. us. Oh, Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Y'all yes. got it right. A little slow, but you got it right. <laughs> okay. uh, number four, workers. Pray for the Lord to raise up others to gain all sufficiency with the pastor's group. These are those workers who will help gather the harvest of souls for the kingdom of God. Now, pastors are asked to pray for pastors. Members are asked to pray for members, if you will, and that's kind of how it goes. Uh, in fact, my pastor, Bishop Ivy Hilliard, uh, has asked us to enter into this prayer 320. Well, I had a witness in my spirit because I was already started doing it before I heard about it. All right. So, so I, there was a witness there. Yeah. And uh, I can see it scripturally. You see, that, that's what really motivates me when I can see the Bible saying Amen. whatever, not just a man. Amen. 
And, and so the scripture says, there in Matthew 9, 36, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send for the labors into his harvest. We're to pray for souls to come into the kingdom. And then in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound unto every good work. And last but not least, is pray for wellness. Amen. Pray to experience divine healing and wholeness. Anybody need some healing? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody? Amen. Amen. I don't care if it's a tooth that's bothering yes. you. Anybody need some healing and some wholeness? Amen. Well, the word tells us this in James 5, 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And so I'm appealing to you, everybody, let's be engaged in the prayer campaign, prayer 320, and let's pray for three people for 20 consecutive days. Yes. Amen. Yes. Will you do that? Amen. 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 All right. All right. Well, uh, if you would, if you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to get the, uh, our foundation scriptures there in Ephesians 3.20 and uh, rest upon your feet. Amen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pray. After I pray, we'll make a faith confession. After the faith confession, I'll read the word of the Lord in your hearing. You can feel free thereafter to have your seat in his presence. So if you're able today, we're asking you to rest upon your feet with us. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Holy God and Father, again we come recognizing that without you, Lord God, we wouldn't be able to breathe this air. We wouldn't be able to receive the pleasantness of sound sight. God, and now we pray that you would help us to hear your word. For you declare therein that the soul that hear, it shall live. And so we pray now that you will send your word, God, for your word is life. It's spirit to us. And God, I ask now that your word my mouth for your glory, cause our lives to be impacted in your name with praise and exalted. Bless these, your people, I pray now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you uh, have your Bibles, let's just hold them up. Repeat after me. Say, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is life. To me. To me. And because of God's faithfulness. And because of God's faithfulness. To his word. To his word. And my obedience. And my obedience. To him in faith. To him in faith. I now walk in love walk and the blessing of abundant life. Oh, While you're yet standing, we're going to read together this morning. Amen. Now unto him that is able to, to, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Now let's go over to Job 42.10 while we're yet standing. We're going to read that together as well. Amen. Job 42.10 from the King James Version. And it is recorded on this wise. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Amen. Come on, look at your neighbor. It says, personal, personal, purposeful, purposeful, prayer, prayer, produces. Produces. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. You can have your seat in the presence of the Lord. If you believe that, just go ahead and say amen. 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 Personal, yes. purposeful, Prayer produces. produces. And uh, one of the things that ought to be ever present in all of our lives, even if you say, well, you know, I know I ain't doing everything God wants me to do right now, so I don't know if I should be doing that much praying because I ain't sure you want to hear from me. Um, 
Because, you know, I know I should be doing some other things that I'm not doing right now. I'm telling you, you still should be praying. Amen. 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 Hello. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm not asking. You still should be praying. Yes. One of the things about prayer, first off, God instructs us to do it. Uh-huh. Secondly, it honors and glorifies him. It doesn't help him at all. Amen. It helps us, Amen. but it glorifies him. Yes. yes. You and I cannot pray to a God we're not conscious of. Amen. Amen. So it brings our attention to God when we pray. So even though one might say, well, I'm, I'm kind of weak and I, I have these proclivities and I have these habits, these hang-ups, these issues, the fact that I will talk to God by default sets me up for strength that I don't have, that I can tap in from heaven to help me overcome my issue, to help me overcome my habit, my hang-up, my proclivity. Amen. 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 So, so we don't allow the devil to defeat us and hold us down and hold us back because it looks like we're not firing on all the cylinders. No, 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 no. God knew I wasn't firing on all the cylinders when he gave his son to hang out on yeah, the yes, 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 yes. While we were yet in sin, Christ, Christ died yes. for the ungodly. Yes. So I can't let the devil pull the, the, the wool over my eyes and make me sit down and shut up. Come when on. I understand that the Lord loved me before I knew myself. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. That's his name. Hallelujah. He knows us from our beginning to yes. the end. Yes, yes, he does. Yes. So yes, all does. our mess ups, he knew about it before we messed oh, up. Yes. And he still had an assignment oh, yes. for our lives. Come yes. on. Hallelujah. God, I don't know yes. y'all with me today. Yes. But, but yes. I'm preaching yes. you. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> It is so. Hallelujah. It is so. It is. It is. It is so. So God wants us to pray. Our prayer is personal. And let me just deal with this a little bit because sometimes folks say, but I don't even know how to pray. Uh-huh. And what we commonly do is we associate and connect our inability to pray with how we heard somebody else pray. All right, yes, all right, yes. all right. So there are some folk that we have heard pray mm -hmm. and seem like they, I mean, they lined it up so good. Seem like they touch all the bases. Mm -hmm. they, they pray about things we wasn't thinking of, but when we hear it in the prayer, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, anybody, am I talking to anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody ever recognize that besides me? I mean, you know, some folk look like when they pray, man, look like they got the end with God. <laughs> I mean, they just end. You understand? Like, man, if somebody praying me like that, I give everything. They pray <laughs> to me like that. Well, you must understand, it's not about how somebody else prays. Amen. It doesn't see, it doesn't matter how well they seem to link the words together and the phrases and the fact that they pray about the little children with no food or no shoes on their feet or they pray about the widows or they pray about the, the trouble in the land or whatever else they're praying about. That's not really what makes the prayer work for you. What makes the prayer work for you is when you just talk to God from your heart. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. The Bible gives us a picture uh -huh. of a prayer, of two prayers actually, two mm -hmm. people praying, that's what it was, two people praying. And the Bible tells us about their prayer. Uh -huh. And the word says that one was a Pharisee. Yes. The Pharisees were known as the religious people. Mm -hmm. They were known as the heavyweights. You see, they had to know the Torah. The Torah is the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. And they would have to, to know that by heart. So they were pretty heavyweights, you, you know, because some folk can't hardly remember the shortest scripture Jesus met. <laughs> you, you ask somebody, what, what scripture do you, you know? They have a hard time coming up with one. There's one, just two verses. I'm going to give y'all one to always tell them Jesus wept. That's the whole scripture by itself. Just two words. That's Amen. It is so. In any event, this Pharisee.
Pharisee starts praying. And he says, as it were, Lord, I'm glad I'm not like this publican or this sinner. I fast twice a week. Mm. I get tired of all I have. And I know some of y'all ain't tired then. You don't even remember the last time you died. <laughs> I don't know if he was talking about you. No. Jesus. But he said, I get tired of all I have. Jesus. And, 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 you know, he went on through his prayer. Then the Bible says, there was this publican. Publicans were known as sinners. Publican, he came to the temple to pray. Bowed his head. The Bible says he would not so much as look up. Said he smote his breast. Yes. And said, Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. Yes. That was his prayer. Yes. Then the scripture asks a question. It says, which one do you believe, as it were, was justified? Or which one do you think, you know, God heard their prayer? Or which prayer do you think got the most weight with God? All right. Well, the Bible says it was the sinner. It was the publican. Who said, God, I'm a sinner. I already know I'm messed up. Come on. He didn't come with any false face. And this is why you also ought to be in the house of prayer. This is why you should come to church. You know, the devil sells a bill of goods to so many folks say and say, you don't have it together. Jesus. So you need to just stay out till you get it right. Come on. When you get it right, then you ought to come to church. The devil is a liar. Mm. The Bible says he's a father of lies. He wants to keep you out. Because he knows if you don't get the truth, then you're already bound. Jesus. But if you ever get the truth, Jesus, Jesus. There are some folk right now. Mm. Right now, you're wondering what is the real deal in this way? All right. You say, I heard this and I heard that. I feel this way and that way, but I also know this is what they said. This is what the Bible mm -hmm. said. So I don't know if it's what the people are saying the Bible said is real or what I feel and you know all that with the Bible is real. Well, the Bible tells us this. So you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes. In other words, God's going to cause you to have a witness on the inside of what it is you need to do. Amen. Whether you do it or not, that, that has almost nothing to do with it. You see, because God has an assignment that he executes through the power and the person of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit assignment is to lead us into all truth. Amen. So if we go wrong, it's not because he wasn't trying to lead us. It's not because he didn't speak to us. We just chose to do it our way. Look at somebody say, we can do it our way. Amen. 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 And that's what we usually do. But there's no better way than to do it like God said. Amen. Amen. So, so you see, uh, uh, oh, God, help me in here today. Yeah. Uh, mo most of us know that some of us have gotten some trouble, too, by doing it our way, right? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Some of us, if we would have listened to our parents, we'd have saved ourselves some trouble. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Listen to some of them other people who was giving us good counsel, we'd have saved ourselves some trouble. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 And, and, and the Holy Spirit, he's speaking to us every day. Yes, every day. Every day. Somebody said, well, I, you know, I hear people talk about they a God spoke to them and and they heard God talk and all that. What God sound like? I mean, how does his voice sound? You heard God talk. Listen, God speaks through the agency of the Holy Spirit. Yes, He does. Sometimes it may seem to be an audible voice, mm -hmm. just like you hear my voice now. Mm -hmm. I mean, something you, it seemed like you actually hearing it, mm -hmm. not just kind of internal stuff. Mm -hmm. Some folk call it an impression. You know, they sense and all that kind of stuff. Holy Spirit assignment is to lead you in all truth. Yes. Okay, let me give you proof, proof text, because y'all, y'all, y'all see, y'all see the look on your face. It's all right. All right. Don't skip me. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I have to take time because there's so much for one to know they don't know and they don't understand. Come on, Bishop. Amen. And many places they go, nobody can make it plain to them. All right. Well, my assignment is to make some things plain Thank you. Too. Hallelujah. Thank so you, So then, how do I know that the Holy Spirit speaks to me? Mm. Well, most every one of us, in fact, I dare say all of us in here, have had the experience where 
there was a thought that came to our mind to do something. Uh -huh. Now we may not have a clue where the thought came from, but what we couldn't deny is that we had the thought. Amen. All right, you don't know where it came from. Then there's another thought too, because the one gonna go the other way of the other. Okay, okay, how many of y'all drive? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay. How many of y'all rode a bicycle? <laughs> How many of y'all walked? Amen. Ever. Anyway. Okay, I just want to catch up with you. Make sure I get everybody in the room. Okay. Let's say you was walking. This is because some folks don't drive. Amen. Let's say you was walking. Mm -hmm. You're going where you know you was planning to go. But somehow in your mind, it said go another way. Has that ever happened again? Amen. Amen. The thought comes so clear you can't deny it. But you don't understand it. Because the way you're going might be the shorter way. And you're not trying to take the long way to get there. All right. Anybody, come on now, y'all talk Amen. back to me. If I'm in the house, y'all come on and go with Amen. me. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. but, but this thing was so clear in your mind, you could not ignore it. Yeah. Now, you could.